So good afternoon. This is GB News on TV, online and on digital radio. We are the People's Channel. I'm Nana Aguirre. Now, whilst Dame Alison has finally resigned, you've got to ask what took her so long. It's pretty obvious to anyone looking in on this that she had to be the source. But instead of coming clean immediately, she thought that she could sit it out. Such a ridiculous error, the breach of data protection, which could prove to be illegal. It also sounds like she's largely to blame for the infiltration of diversity and inclusion, which led to those within the organisation thinking that they could put together such a libelous document which labelled Nigel, amongst other things, a disingenuous grifter. She had to go. The very fact that these banks believe that they are the arbiters of morality and that they should be judging their customers is laughable. Closing them down if their, their view does not align with their values. I wonder what they've got on me. I also want to know what her exit package is. And under a freedom of information request, I think that we should find out. As the majority shareholder, we, the public, have the right to know, surely, and decide whether we think it's appropriate. But it's not enough for just Dame Alison to go. While she has provided a window into the banking industry, a view we, the public, would never have seen had it not been for Nigel, she is not alone. Because despite her clear incompetence over this matter, so Howard Davies is responsible for the overall governance of the bank. He showed incredible arrogance when he called her briefing to the BBC regrettable and that the board retained full confidence in her. Really? He only hinted that they might dock her bonus from her massive £5.2 million salary. Eventually, though, the pressure got too much, so he and the board threw her under the bus to save their own skins. He should go, for sure. And it's just been announced that Coote's CEO, Peter Flavel, has resigned. He must take ultimate, ultimate responsibility for this utter shambles. It was under his watch, not Dame Allison's, that these notes on Nigel were compiled and that he is the one who has until now remained silent. He must bear the ultimate responsibility. When you consider that we, the public, are the largest shareholders of RBS, the umbrella for Coots and NatWest, and that we bailed them out, we should be the final arbiters of morality, not them. Sir Howard, it's your turn. Crawl out from under your rock. It's time for you to face the music. It's time for you to go.